Blueberry Farm. This is just going to be a short little tour of the farm, of the things that we do here, to give you some kind of idea of what we do here on this historic, sustainable farm. 160 years been in the family. We keep, we want to keep it another 160 years. The Hobbin Blueberry Farm. Hope you enjoy. With our work on alternative crops here at uh, Hop at Blueberry Farm, hops have probably drawn the most interest of anything that we do. The amount of tours that we get here are incredible, and the interest because of the destination of Asheville area as Beer City, USA, has made hops one of the favorite things for people to see. I get more work done at 7 a.m. than the U.S. Army does. You can take that to the bank. Just another day at the office. These hops are going in to Pisgah Brewing Company right down the road. We're going to put it in the boil today. Fresh off the vine, right into the pot. It's like a lobster. Most people have never even seen a hop and are totally unfamiliar how they're grown, what goes into the trellis system, that whole aspect of harvesting them, and then what happens after they're harvested. Right after we harvest our hops, they go over to Pisgah Brewing Company, where they're added into a special brew. Hi, I'm Kyle. Um, I'm the head brewer here at Pisgah. Uh, today we're making a fresh hop ale with uh, Van Tops grown right here in uh, Baltimore County. Um, we, uh, right now we've got work boiling in the kettle, and in about 15 minutes or so I'm going to add these hops, and they're going to impart a great fresh aroma to our fresh off ale. In two weeks, we're, two weeks we're going to have some really good beer. Creativity here on the farm might involve things like also the blueberries. You pick blueberries. These blueberries are getting along just fine. It'll be a while really before, or at least for another year, until these things really start producing and not feeding the birds. Pollination is also a major concern here at the farm. We're working with the Xerces Society and the Natural Conservation and Resources Service to help create a model farm to show people what it takes to create habitats for pollination and pollinating insects. Also, we're finding new niche markets, being creative with new niche markets. Things here especially that we're concerned with at the Hoppin' Blue Ray Farm are saving some of the native species that we're seeing that are becoming over-harvested. Some of the medicinals that we raised here, one of the biggest ones, are ramps. These are ramps in bloom right now. We're trying to create a good seed bank and to teach people how to sustainably harvest ramps. Just one of the many projects we're doing here on the farm. Milkweed. Trying to find new commercial uses for milkweed. Working with the University of Western or Western Illinois University and trying to establish whether or not we can use milkweeds in other alternative markets, of which there are many as we speak today. Part of that also had to do with the monarch migration. Here we are also being creative and having, along with that, a flight house full of butterflies and doing research with uh, people like at the University of Kansas on monarch migration. This brings us to our final phase of the farm here, the Butterfly Flight House, was created to really have a big draw for agritourism here on the farm that really has worked. This is a beautiful setting inside here where we have, uh, we maintain many species of native butterflies, including the monarchs, and it's the focal point of tours now that come to the farm for people to learn all there is to know about the butterfly, it's a metamorphosis from egg until a final adult. It's really a beautiful place. And hey uh, don't forget the kids. The they sure enjoy it. Hey, farm You ready to see some butterflies? Yeah! Yeah, it's not a big one Okay, everybody, let's go back outside. We're going to let this monarch go. Not yet. Well, not only are our kids going to have a good time here with the tours of the farm, but there's the adults, too. 
We have special tours with the hops that really create and bring in a lot of people, uh, especially with our hop harvest tours and, and regular tours about learning how to grow hops. Family reunions are held here. Everybody has a great time. Right now we have to use a, uh, the garage and the barn. We're hoping the facility will make a big change and bring in more people. That's what we're looking for here on the Hop and Blueberry Farm, where we strive to bring scenic beauty, history, research, and development uh, it all combined together to make the Hop and Blueberry Farm a prime destination for agritourism here in Western North Carolina. Thanks for watching, and you're all invited out at any time just to see what's going on out here at the Hop and Blueberry Farm. Thanks.